Hey guys and happy Sunday. On tonight's video we're going to talk about Soul Face Shampoo and how the natural hair community looks at a Soul Face Shampoo as an enemy. I am here to tell you that Soul Face Shampoo is our friend. It is okay to use a Soul Face Shampoo. Now for those who don't know what a Soul Face Shampoo is, a Soul Face Shampoo is a shampoo that has a chemical in there that lathers up and cleanses your hair more deeply. For some reason in the natural community we're taught not to use a soap face shampoo. And if you ask them, how come we can't use a soap face shampoo, they're always going to tell you the same reason, because it dries out your hair. I am here to tell you that a soap face shampoo is okay to use. Soap face shampoo is our friend. Because if you don't use a soap face shampoo, and you're constantly putting all those products in your hair, and you're not cleaning them out properly, you're going to have buildup, and your hair is going to be yucky. And it's going to be weighed down, and it's not going to flow properly. I had one young lady told me a long time ago, she said, I can't follow you because you use a soap face shampoo. And I'm looking at the comment like, what? You do have to use a shampoo. So I explained to her, I said, it's okay to use a shampoo. Just use it maybe once a month or however you feel like it's necessary. But my thing is this. If you have a natural hair care regimen, you're not going to worry about your hair being dried out because you use a soap face shampoo. Why? Because you already know how to add the moisture back in your hair. Now, I'm going to give you an example about me and how I can tell if a soap face shampoo dry my hair out and what I can do to put the moisture back in my hair. I have growing hands. I have a video on that too and I have it posted. Um, you'll see a little card pop out and you'll see, you'll hear me talking about growing hands. Now, growing hands is a old school term that tells you that using your hands and actually your eyes too to be able to tell which product to use for your hair how to take care of your hair. Your hands will tell you what to do in order to get it back moisturized or get it back um, in a good place. So I have growing hands. So I'm not afraid to use a soap face shampoo. If I should dry my hair out from using a soap face shampoo, I know what to do. I know to go to my stash, pull out my, uh, ing my, my uh, products that will add the moisture back to my hair. Deep conditioning, ACV rinse, steaming my hair putting an oil on top of my moisturizer, you know, and sometimes if you use a soap face shampoo, if it dries out too much, it may, takes, may, it may take a while for the moisture to bounce back in, but eventually the moisture will come back to your hair when you use your products. I have built up a moisture balance in my hair to where if I dry it out, it won't take that long for my moisture to come back. Also, our hair naturally dries out, our hair naturally mats, our hair naturally tangles. So. You cannot stop your hair from drying out. You cannot stop your hair from matting. You can't stop your hair from tangling. All you can do is just maintain it and push the, push the moisture back in and keep your hair from being tangled and keep your hair from being matted. Staying on top of your hair will prevent all that, but it'll never stop it permanently because that's what our hair naturally does. So it is okay to use a soap face shampoo. If you're afraid that it may dry your hair out, don't use it fully concentrated. Take some water and a little bit of shampoo, put in a little spray bottle or some type of bottle, Shake it up, spread it in your hair. Because most of it is going to be water. Also, when you're shampooing your hair, you don't want to use hot water. If you're using hot water, that's going to dry your hair up by itself. Then if you're using hot water on top of a soap face shampoo that you have not diluted, that's going to dry your hair out even more. But the thing is, you want to cleanse your hair. You want to get that proper cleansing on your scalp so that you can have a fresh scalp. You don't want to have a yucky head. It's just like jumping into a shower and you just stand there and let the water rinse you off and then you get back out and put lotion on your body and then you go about your day. You didn't put any soap on your body, you were just rinsing your body off with water. No, your body needs to be properly cleansed. Even, I'm going to tell you something, even with um, shower gels, hey, I'll do a shower gel shower uh, one or two days and then after that I'm using a soap. To me, soap cleanses my body. The shower gel does okay, but I bet you a nickel and a penny, if you go back and get a towel, after a couple of days of, of uh, using a shower gel and you wipe your body, you're going to see some dirt on that towel. So you got to use a soap to cleanse your body as well. It, I don't know where we come off of saying that, that soap face shampoo is bad for our hair. And if you don't have no other reason that it dries your hair out, then you just really, you don't have a good reason why you're not cleansing your hair. You have to cleanse your hair, especially if you, uh, if you uh, exercise. Uh, I'm 47 now, so I don't have night flashes, but... I'm getting to the age that I might have to start having night flashes. You think I'm just going to just let my hair not be cleansed because 
It dries my hair out. No, I'm, I'm so cold-blooded with my regimen, I know what to do to add the moisture back to my hair. So, girls and guys, when I tell you this, Soulface Shampoo is not an enemy. It is our friend. Don't be afraid to use it. Cleanse that hair properly as needed. You don't have to do it every time you have to wash it. Well, not wash. That's another thing. We need to stop saying washing our hair. It's not washing our hair. We wash our cars. We wash our clothes. We shampoo our hair. Okay, so whenever it's time to shampoo your hair, don't be afraid to shampoo your hair. You don't want to walk around with no stinky, smelly hair because all you're doing is co-washing. Co-washing don't get your hair clean. It doesn't get your hair that clean. It may, I, I'm going to tell you what, the reason why I use co-washing. I do it as a moisture balance um, treatment. Uh, when my hair, like in the wintertime, when it's a little bit drier, I'll do a co-wash in between shampoos. Uh, I'll do a no, non-sulfate so shampoo too. Non-sulfate shampoo, they say it doesn't have sulfate in it. I think it does. I don't. I need to read the, read the ingredients, but it lathers. Uh, Co-washing don't really lather. If it's lathering, then there's something else going on with it. But my thing is, cleanse your hair. Find a proper way to cleanse your hair without drying out. So you won't be saying, well, I don't shampoo my, mm -mm. I don't wash my hair with sulfate shampoo because it dries my hair out. If that's your only reason, then you know what? <laughs> you don't have anything else to say to provide. You don't, have, you don't have another good reason why you shouldn't shampoo your hair. Okay, guys, so that is it for this evening. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you like this video. And you'll see a Nezzy butterfly in the lower, your lower right-hand corner. If you click on the little Nezzy butterfly, it'll bring you to my channel. Also, I have a picture of myself with a red shirt on. And you click on that, it'll bring you to my channel. You'll see every video that I have. I have over 200 videos. And you'll see all my social medias like Twitter, um, Instagram, Google+. Plus. I, a lot of people don't really use Google+, Plus, but I'm going to tell you, I use my Google+. Plus. I, put, I post pictures and I post um, little things on there that you might be interested in. Also, I post on Instagram. So, that is it, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hugs and kisses. Mwah.